going to look into chi-square test of association, its concept, interpretation, and reporting. Now, chi-square test of association is used when you want to check the association between two categorical variables on nominal scale. Now, the variables will be on nominal scale of measurement. They will not have any order and they will just be utilized to categorize the respondents. However, it is important to note that in case of two variables being compared, the test can also be interpreted as determining if there is a difference between two variables. The test is also referred to as chi-square test of four independence, also called Pearson's chi-square test. Now, here are a few situations in which chi-square test is appropriate. A business research teacher would like to know whether gender, male or female, is associated with the preferred type of learning methods, maybe textbook reading or class discussion. A group of students were classified in terms of their personality, introvert or extrovert, and in terms of color preference, red, yellow, green or blue, with the purpose of seeing whether there is an association, relationship between the personality and color preference. A car manufacturing company would like to know if there is an association between different makes of the car and gender. Or a market researcher would like to know if a particular brand of watches is associated with a particular gender. Now, In order to run chi-square test of association, we have this example where we want to check the association of personality with preference. Now the personality could either be introvert or extrovert and the preference could be for different colors. Now here are the values, one for introvert, two for extrovert and the preference is for the four different colors. Now in order to run this test, chi-square test, what we do is we go to analyze, descriptive statistics and cross tabs. So let's add personality to rows, preference to columns, and then we click statistics. And we select chi-square. Press continue and we press OK. Now here are our results. We've got 150 respondents. There are no missing values. Now this is the cross tabulation. Introverts, now 13 of the introverts have preferred for red color. 15 yellow, 29 green, and 13 blue. So there are 70 introverts. Extroverts, 9 red, 29 yellow, 29 green, and 13 blue. Now in order to assess whether they've got any association or the type of personality has any association with the preferred color, we will come down to this table. Now here if we look, we have to look for Pearson chi-square. The value is 4.535 and the significance is 0 0.209 which is greater than 0 0.05. So there is no association of the type of personality with a preferred color. Now here this, this is important. Now 0% of the cells have expected count less than 5. The, nim the minimum expected count is 10.27. Now this should be greater than 5. So in this case we do not have problem with the expected count because it is greater than 5. This is one of the conditions for chi-square test of association, the expected count. Now how do you report the results? In order to do this we have got this template. Now the problem that we wanted to discuss is to identify the association between personality and color preference. Four colors were chosen. The hypothesis is there is a significant association between personality and color preference. Now how do we report the results? So chi-square statistics were used to examine association between the categorical variables. There was in this case insignificant so we remove the parenthetical brackets insignificant relationship at 5% significance level between personality and color preference of the respondents now let's go back to the table and the chi square pearson chi square value was 4.535 4.535 the degrees of freedom was 3 
and the p-value was 0 0.209 and what we can do is we can write hence h1 was not supported i hope the video would have helped you understand the concept of chi-square desktop association thank you very much